Pennsylvania. Brian Koberger spent his teenage years and most of his adult life here. That includes stints at two local colleges, including DeSales. Now police and prosecutors in this area want to know what he was up to all those years and are digging into their cold case files. Just outside the open wilderness and resort towns of the Pocono Mountains lies a neighborhood called the Birches. It's just a very quiet community. These are the streets an accused killer once roamed as a teenager. I've definitely seen it on TV. Who hasn't? Now, Lynn Klein and others in the Pennsylvania communities where Brian Koberger lived until last year want to know if he could have committed any crimes before he was charged with the murders at the University of Idaho. Because anybody or any family that's been harmed or done wrong to deserves to know the truth. It isn't just citizens. Police and prosecutors have asked the same question. Your natural reaction is to start wondering, okay, is this guy wanted? Uh, is his name out there? Uh, did he do anything here in Northampton County? Terry Houck. Terrence Houck is district attorney of Northampton County and leads an office of more than 20 prosecutors and a half dozen detectives. It's here at Northampton Community College, where Brian Koberger took his first courses in higher education, graduating here in 2018. After Koberger's arrest for the Idaho murders, Northampton County's district attorney ordered a review of unsolved cases in his county. We have a, a crime information center that, that compiles information of people's description, uh, size, weight, height, method of operation, things of that nature. Obviously, you wonder whether or not there was any criminality that he uh, committed here in Lehigh County or in the environs. Jim Martin, district attorney of the neighboring county, Lehigh, also ordered a review of unsolved cases. Lehigh County is home to DeSales University, which Koberger attended after Northampton Community College. He spent four years here studying criminal justice. Ryan Koberger. Earning a master's degree last summer. What does law enforcement do given that he did spend time here? Well, we have a resource here called the Regional uh, in Intelligence and Investigation Center. It's the, the first thing I did was I asked that, uh, I asked the, the director of the RIC, as we call it, uh, to see if we had any contact with Mr. Coker. A data search of more than six million police incident reports in Pennsylvania turned up only one record with Koberger's name. He called police from this bike trail one night to report that his car was locked behind a park gate. There was a response from him thanking the police and apologizing for the inconvenience. The district attorney in Monroe County, Pennsylvania, where Koberger grew up and where a SWAT team arrested him on December 30th, did not respond to our questions. But in Northampton and Lehigh counties, both district attorneys say their investigations have found no links to Koberger and any unsolved cases. So we have no unsolved homicides that in any way meet the mo modus operandi of, of this event out in uh, Idaho. There has nothing been brought to my attention. Uh, in fact, nothing with respect to Koberger has come, come about in our investigations of cold cases or unsolved cases to this point. And that should be some relief to a community that's been stunned and saddened by the murders of four college students 2,500 miles away. It's a little close to home. You just don't expect it. So prosecutors say the bottom line is there's no evidence that Koberger committed any crimes here in Pennsylvania. In Center Valley, Pennsylvania, Chris Ingalls,